world pride book. Uh, uh, excuse me. Councillor Kristen Warren Tam uh, is going to have the honour of kicking off the festivities, and I'll be there to join her uh, early in the week so that the two of us can uh, enjoy and perhaps in a way uh, supervise uh, World Pride Week uh, together as we have been coordinating our efforts in the lead up to it. It's a, it's, a, it's a real honor to be asked by the Deputy Mayor to actually officiate the opening ceremonies, uh, to read the proclamation, to raise the rainbow flag. Um, this is uh, obviously a, a, a very significant year for the LGBT community, uh, being the openly uh, the only openly out member of council. Uh, this is actually a, a true, true honor. Uh, not only will we have, uh, 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 not only will we be hosting the largest international event the city has ever hosted, uh, but to be asked to open it um, is uh, is truly a privilege. So for that, I thank the deputy. It's not only in good hands; it's in great hands. Thank you. Where, I'm sorry, is the, uh, where are you opening? So we'll be, uh, the opening ceremonies will be at Nathan Phillips Square. Uh, we've got Melissa Etheridge, uh, who is performing, as well as Deborah Cox, a uh, VIP uh, area that's set up to receive a number of uh, dignitaries. Uh, uh, all of City Council is invited to watch all of this, uh, as well as pyrotechnic uh, fireworks is set up. Uh, we actually are, are going through uh, great uh, efforts to make sure that it is going to be uh, one of the most spectacular openings for World Pride. Uh, we like to think that it's going to set a whole new standard in terms of how World Prides are, uh, are hosted in other cities uh, in subsequent years. Uh, so Toronto wants to be that leader. We want to demonstrate that we're going to set a whole new benchmark on how these events are run. Can you speak to at this point how things are going in terms of preparations, hotels, uh, accommodations and so forth? Well, I haven't heard anything to the contrary, um, so I'm assuming things are going really, really well. And I know that uh, uh, Councillor uh, Kristen Wong Tam is a lot closer to it than I am, and knowing how good she is at getting things done, um, I'm very happy. Yes, and I can confirm that the Deputy Mayor is absolutely correct. Uh, we've heard uh, nothing but the best responses. Uh, Tourism Toronto has confirmed that uh, the hotel room rates are, are up, uh, I think about 5 or 6 percent uh, year over year in terms of the changes. Uh, we are seeing a lot of various neighbourhoods uh, coming forward with their own programming, uh, including uh, major cultural institutions such as the ROM, the Gardner Museum, the AGO. They're all stepping forward with their own with their own uh, World Pride themed programs. We have um, the Inside Out uh, Lesbian and Gay Film Festival that's kicking off with a whole new series of films uh, that they don't generally hold at this time of year, but they're actually bringing it out, uh, understanding that uh, there is a whole new audience and a whole new uh, group of visitors that are coming to Toronto. So all of that is very exciting. And you can see that the infrastructure is already uh, being installed across the city, uh, 250 brand new World Pride banners. We've got the rainbow intersections that are now installed at the, at the uh, on Church Street um, and a whole host of other things that are happening. So this is actually going to be a spectacular, spectacular event. Kristen, when is that ceremony? Uh, it is actually uh, Friday evening on uh, June the 20th. Uh, we're also going to be hosting a, a VIP reception uh, for elected officials and dignitaries at 4 p.m. Uh, in the uh, rotunda of City Hall. Uh, so the Prime Minister, uh, a former Prime Minister of Iceland is in town. Uh, we are also aware that there are other um, elected officials that are coming to, uh, to Toronto. Warm call. And, uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Other, other business calls us. Okay. So thank you, thank very, you very much, much for your time and your attention. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>